million dollars worth of game. We love all our supporters out there for rocking with us for so many years. We got everything going on wherever you like. Gilly on Sports, Where's Wallow, Adventures, whatever it is. What you need to do right now, I need you to push the subscribe button, but also share, like. Go down below, get some merch. Share, like, get some merch. Subscribe. We got more to come. Subscribe right now. Million dollars worth of game. Ah. Million dollars worth of game is going mm -hmm. down. Salt Lake City NBA young boy. Yes. Is up. Yes. It's going down, baby. NBA. Yes. Going down, baby. Me, 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 me. He he wanted to be NBA old head, but we ain't let him. Me, me, Get your me, nut me. ass out of here. <laughs> Damn, that ain't a bad rap name if I was gonna spit. <laughs> NBA old head. <laughs> they were to sell seven records. No, I, I do. I, I guarantee if I put the joint, I could do like about 100,000. That's that thing, baby. That's that thing. That's that thing. That's right. That's right. There you go. That's right. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, there you sir. Go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Body Armor. Me and I Was Worth a Game is a body armor stamped, of course. Real hydration, real ingredients packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor has a great tasting sports drink, flavors like strawberry, banana, and blue raspberry. Not only do we hydrate with Body Armor, but you should as well as well as some of the best athletes on planet Earth. Like, and it hurts me to say this because he plays for the 49ers and I'm an Eagles fan, but he's great. Christian McCaffrey, Joe Burrow, Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, this one stings because he's a cowboy, but he's also great. C.D. Lamb and my youngin, who you see me playing basketball with at the uh, L.A. Fitness out in L.A., Bryce Young. So if they use it, you should use it as well. My favorite one lately is really, I, I really love the water, the body armor water. That's my personally my favorite, you know, especially the big bottle, one of them, and I'm good, you know. So head over to Body Armor, right? It's available in stores nationwide, or you could just head over to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. Go over to Body Armor in any stores, Nationwide, we'll go over to Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. Body Armor. What's up, everybody? Happy holidays. Perfect for the holiday Sprite, winter spice, cranberry. I'm telling you, listen, man, this right here, jeez. This, I'm talking about, this is just perfect. I'm talking about perfect for the. Great tasting. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the new winter spice cranberry. Watch this. Perfect, man. I'm talking about great for your holidays. You're gonna be getting together something new. I'm talking about this. Listen, this winter spiced cranberry. I'm talking about this spiced. This right here. Mm mm mm. Mm, mm hmm. Break dancing, right? Mm. <sighs> Let me get one more. I got mine. You better get you some. Sprite winter spice cranberry. Winter spice cranberry. Mm -hmm. Winter spice cranberry. Winter Spice Cranberry. Head over to Sprite.com so you can see where you can pick up some Sprite Winter Spice Cranberry. Right now, what you waiting for? Come on, we waiting for you. Go get yours. We got ours. I got that extra child right there. Man, just hustling, man. Every day, man, hustling, working, Brian, man. Getting the message out, you know. 
trying to, you know, trying to, trying to get a young some game, man. That's got us attention, motivation, and education. You know what I'm saying? Keep us out of jail. Keep us on the right path to get some money. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it's about. And I feel like we the best to give it. You know what I mean? Anything a young kid done been through, we done been through. You know, he been he did 20 years in jail. You know, I got popped with a load of weed. I done been shot a few times. So anything that could go through, we been through. I kind of paid attention to y'all a little bit. I want to congratulate y'all. Appreciate that, man. For the show. Appreciate that. I want to congratulate you, man. You're 24 years old, and you on 80 acres, man. And you've been in the house for three years. I got a long way to go, G. Yeah. And putting but, it but out you, there. But you working, though. Sure. You know what I mean? You just 88. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh scary ass. Come on, <laughs> I'm touching me, Pete. He's, I thought it was game time. You know, you, know, you got to understand. This, you, you, you on 80 acres, bro, at 24 years old, man. And you done made a load of mistakes in life. You know what I mean? That's major. But you still in position. You feel what I'm saying? As young niggas make mistakes, that's a part of life. You know what I mean? That's what young niggas do. They make mistakes and then they grow up. For you to still be in position, you've been in the house for three years, man. Most artists have been in the house for a year and can't do no shows as they done. It's over with for them. People don't just want to hear your music, they want to see you, they want to feel you. But you they still wanna smell you, they wanna, they wanna, they wanna feel like ah! And you can't even give them that and you still here. And you still stay creative. You know, what is your creative process and how you keep the energy to keep going to keep getting in the studio? Then I know like I never hit a fast shot, like they ain't never marketing me like this. Until this day to them I seem uncivilized, you know, from what they see that shit got them blind. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But then again, I gotta put the blame on me, you know. When you say put the blame on you, what you mean? As far as like, for the way I'm seen today. Let me tell you something though, right? You should you should never feel, you know, sorry, because if you wasn't who you was, you wouldn't be where you at. You feel what I'm saying? It should happen in life. It should happen in life. That's just a part of life. But the reason why people love you is because you're so authentic. You know what I mean? Because no, you ain't putting, you ain't putting no cut on this shit. So, you know, people make mistakes, but you here now. You grown, I see the growth in you. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I see you, I see the growth. It could be gone like this. Though. Right, it could be gone just like that. So now you know you, you work smarter and harder. I'll tell Dude. you one thing, man. This a big ass mountain, man. <laughs> God damn. Is it ever a time where it's though, because you've been in the house, all these years, you be just sad, man. I feel, I get the feeling down sometimes. Yeah. That's cause I can put this shit to go on. But other than that, like I'm too blessed to be stressed, I'm too pressured to be pressed. I don't really, I, ain't, I don't even really feel with people. Okay. I don't hang out none of that shit. And I protect my. You know the beautiful thing about it though? I heard you take accountability. Like, no, I, I you know, People probably look at me because the way I, you know, I, I've been a fucked up person in certain situations. And that's the first part of growth is taking accountability. No matter how much money you got, cause see the, see, see the, the, the biggest problem niggas get is when they get money, they stop listening. You can't, you, you gotta listen when you winning. You gotta listen when you winning too. It always gotta be a nigga that's able to pull you to the side and say, no, nah, my nigga, we don't do that. No, nah, we can't do that. No, nah, dog, that's not a smart move. Yo, get in the van, dog. If you ain't got a that could do that then you're gonna lose so the biggest the biggest celebration today is that you here taking accountability and you not accepting the fact that you got 80 acres you got the big house you got the Lamborghinis you got all the cars you like I got far to go OG I'm just getting started that say a lot that say you ain't comfortable it is always important to have motherfuckers around you that if they see you slipping they say Neff listen man that shit ain't cool right and I don't got no team. That's what I mean. I don't know. I do this shit by myself. When I do get a team, I'm gonna be a motherfucker. What type of team you need? I just like because I need a good lawyer. I need a nigga that stay on top of other music because I don't listen to it at all. So he keep me hooked. 
you know, mm -hmm. on, what, on what the new sound is. I need mean, to watch the internet because I don't know how to control my emotions. You know, as a man in certain areas, I ain't grow yet. I admit that. Mm -hmm. I be tripping. Mm -hmm. But I be feeling like people be tripping. But um, I need that right now to see shit before I see shit. Mm -hmm. And know how to keep me out of Instagram today without even telling me. Post shit he just seen. Mm -hmm. It go deeper than that. Man, my, man, man, this shit so serious, bro. I'm on my last album right now. I just dropped my album. Nah, I got one more. Mm -hmm. Six months, I, I'm eligible to drop. You can't stop me. Mm -hmm. I ain't, man. I got, I got the money. I got my mm -hmm. But I see it straight. Mm -hmm. I don't know nobody's shit. And I thought I is, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know about shit. Man, I'm scared to another that. Man, I'm scared to let another load even fall on me. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. For you to say it right. And say you this successful and you need a team. That's real. That's honest. Yep. For you to sit here and say, man, like this is so unstructured. It's like right? this. I got no, like, don't get me wrong, it's like this. I got, I got, I, it's certain people that go out and bring certain deals. But like, it ain't no management. Like, you know. Like, if a deal come to me, hey, you got this deal. I bet you took commission sent to me. You know, I ain't no getting paid for nothing. I ain't no ripping my pockets. I ain't no fucking me out my money. I ain't never moved like this since I was a child. And that's why, I don't know. I think a lot of people who was in this shit with me coming up, I ain't really with me no more. I ain't going, I ain't, I ain't go for that shit. I always, I feel like I always had that ad, man. And they crew, I don't give a fuck, basketball player, basketball player, you football work, player, you rapper. You don't work, you don't eat. Right, it's you see it's it's fall man, off. Hey, man, it's, man, you know what I mean? It's assigned to at least two or three labels. Man, that's a lot of paper you gotta break up, man. Yeah, two or three, four. Shit. Production company, label, all type of money. It's a lot of paper you gotta break up. You just like, that's all you missing is the team, huh? And right into the bouch, cause I don't want them in the door. Yeah, I, I get one crack in that bitch and I'm booting it. one crack? One crack and I boot that bitch in it's out with the fake in the real. Why you think it's like hey, that? Hey, I ain't never hear nothing. Hey, if I was f***ed up, I always spoke on it. I said I was playing bitch games. But it ain't my, it ain't my place to speak on it. Yeah, you, you understand this, you understand this. You got 13 billion views on YouTube. The average rapper with a machine ain't got that. Ain't putting that many albums out. Ain't got that many videos and you in the house. Dudes, this dude's not on house arrest, and they not doing that. Dudes just because they know me, they know my story, I guess. Or what they feel they know. Make them feel connected or some shit. Where the rest of the dog then? You all Frenchy? Uh, I got a Frenchy, that's that. What's that? Bulldog. Oh, that's a bulldog? Yeah. I don't be knowing the difference. Bunch of small. They get big too, don't yeah. they? Yeah. A little bigger. This episode of Me and Osworth for Game is brought to you by Body Armor. Me and Osworth for Game is a body armor stamped, of course. Real hydration, real ingredients packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor has a great tasting sports drink, flavors like strawberry banana and blue raspberry. Not only do we hydrate with Body Armor, but you should as well, as well as some of the best athletes on planet Earth. Like, and it hurts me to say this because he plays for the 49ers and I'm an Eagles fan, but he's great. Christian McCaffrey, Joe Burrow, Ronald Acuna Jr., Oh, this one stings because he's a cowboy, but he's also great. C.D. Lamb and my youngin, who you seen me playing basketball with at the uh, L.A. Fitness out in L.A., Bryce Young. So if they use it, you should use it as well. My favorite one lately is really, I, I really love the water, the body armor water. That's my personally my favorite, you know, especially the big bottle, one of them. And I'm good, you know. So head over to Body Armor, right? It's available in stores nationwide. Or you could just head it over to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. Go over to Body Armor.
in any stores nationwide or go over to Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. Body Armor. You're now tuned into me, 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 yes. million dollars worth of game, man. Yes, sir. You see what we got right now? The biggest. You see what's going on? NBA Young Boy, we up in here, man. We in the studio right now. This is where all the magic happened. Listen, Mike, he bought that for a couple of dollars. Uh, he was 17. Where, where, where was it from? California. Go, yeah. Guitar Center. Guitar Center. Think about that. He, said, he still got the same mic. He's, look, the MacBook all beat up. So I want him to know Apollo. I want him to you young. So what you got to go in real the work. studio with the big board in the background. I need all the board. Thirty thousand dollars speakers. When NBA Young Boy, biggest in the game, thirty billion f streams, is doing it right here at the crib. I don't want to hear no excuses from yes. you. Get your ass up in that middle room and make some hits. It's Man, like therapy, therapy for me though. Oh, this is where you coming at, and this what this is about. I sleep in my room. Oh, would you be sleeping on the couch? Oh man, so you just sleep on the couch. You No, because he take this shit serious. Yeah. He said this therapy for me. See, other is just this, this is, oh, this is my only way out. I, I'm all it's all about the money. This shit therapy for him. When it's therapy for you, that means you doing something that okay that you mind, that you love doing. That's like a mother that love playing basketball. Man, I had a rough day today. Let me go shoot around. When I'm doing that, I'm playing, don't nothing matter no more. When he doing this shit, don't nothing matter no more. That's why he winning. What's the longest you stayed in here and just made songs? And how many songs you made, like consistently? I slept. I finally slept out this room for the first time last night in a month. So you just been in here just going crazy? I got my grandma here stone. Damn. Real but time. I ain't gonna lie. Real time. He came to Philly. He came to the studio. Yeah, he had that joint for. And that motherfucker didn't leave. <laughs> he was in that mother. He had that bitch on lock. He was in that mother. Day in and day out, just recording. So I re I understood then. I said, "Oh, this nigga's hustle is different. Totally different. This is different because this nigga got a load of money, and he been in Philly for like five days, and all he been at was at the studio." Did you ever like really see a a, a, a therapist, or you just use this as your therapy? Yeah, I seen him before. And, and you know, and uh, did you just seen it and kept it going, or you, you kept seeing him? I kept it going. And, what, and was it working for you? No, that was some. That was quite. It was, it was quite hard. But through that process, like I'm not finna talk to somebody who ain't, who ain't been through been through shit. I ain't been through. You know, you can't give me your perspective. Like I ain't the I ain't the nigga who gonna yeah. call. I ain't the nigga gonna call fee and just in the middle of the night trying to make make him say the right shit to make me feel right. Mm -hmm. Nah, I hang up on your ass. I ain't finna lie to myself. Mm -hmm. I feel that too, cause I I wouldn't be I'm not too eager to go talk to somebody who grew up totally different from me. You don't how you gonna see shit from my perspective at all? You're not. You don't. What you seen through your eyes and what I seen through my fucking eyes growing up, you can't even imagine. You might not even know nobody that ever got even shot at in your life. I seen get shot at nine years old, so. It's two different perspectives. If I got to talk to somebody, it got to be somebody that can understand where I came from and what I grew up in and, and the environments that I grew up in. Or oh, I can't really, I don't want to hear the shit you got to say about my life. Yeah, I dig that. You got anybody that you vent to? I mean, I've been to, I've been to my, uh, my homies, I've been to Wallow. You know what I'm saying? I've been, to my, I've been to my wife, of course, because she know me the closest. We've been together 20 plus years. You feel what I'm saying? So she know me the closest. But venting and pillow talking is different. I'm going to tell you that. A lot of you just sit down and your homies vent to you and then you go home and you tell all your homie business to your bitch. <laughs> That's pillow talking. Yeah. When I talking? vent to my woman, it's about something personal that we going through. Because if I'm going something through some shit, she's going through it too. We won. But a lot of you niggas be pillow talking. Stop that shit. Mm -hmm. Talking talking to women about other men. Yeah, that's 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 out of pocket. What God might got for somebody else, he might got for you in a different way. He might feel as though you your own marketing. You don't need you don't even need the machine behind you and you got billions of streams, bro. Billions. We not talking about millions, we talk about billions. You got more streams than it is on planet Earth. So you know what I mean? Trust the process. You think that's because I drop a lot of music? No, because it's, it's motherfuckers out here that got 49 albums out. Them 
they ain't got 300 streams. Don't nobody <laughs> give a fuck about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you got 30 billion streams because you special. You, you know should. what I mean? And you got a real fan base. And you, you got a real fan base. You don't got... Like, let's keep it real. A motherfucker. I could post. I could post an album tomorrow. I'm 47. I'm dropping an album. It would be motherfuckers in my comments talking about why I be better. Man, I'm old enough to be that father. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck yeah. out of my comments. <laughs> like, so you got a fan base that's yeah, like vicious, and they your fan base is vicious fucking trolls. That's who, that's who made me right. Yeah, the, them is vicious trolls. They be a motherfucker. A artist will come out, they'll post their shit. Let them have a little bit of steam with you. Anything that he got more f why be it better comments in his shit than regular comments. It's like what the f your fans is really trolls, bro. And they love you. And then what that tell you is that when you got a fan base like that, them motherfuckers live and die with you, man. Right. They them motherfuckers. They buy your merch. They whatever you got going on. They on it. They on it. And that's when you're special. So, you know, I know you understand if I had marketing, though, I'd be at 60 billion streams. We'll never want to slap God in the face for the blessings that he's given us. Feel me? Big blessings. And you that out here. So I just want to let you know that enough. Christian. Real talk. But, uh, man... The album is out. Make sure y'all go get that. Y'all go. I ain't gotta tell y'all stream it because you all we already know he will be at forty billion streams by next week. <laughs> but make sure y'all go get that man. I just want to shout out, big shout out to NBA Young Boy because we've been trying to do this interview for like three years. You hear me? For real. We know he had a lot of shit going on. I already been trying that long. Yeah, we've been trying to get at you for about three years. But Fee, my, shout out to my brother Fee. He been telling me we gonna get it done. We gonna get it done. We gonna get it done, Gilly. Right when it's perfect timing, and we got it done. You brought us to the eighty acre. I, was 88. One, I just want eighty eight. I just want to say that shit again because that's not no light. Shit. There's only one other that I know that got that much land, and his name is Deion Sanders. <laughs> He got a hundred acres. Mm. That's a football player, right? Right, right. So, yeah, so, legend. So, Hall of Famer. For you to be twenty-four years old with eighty-eight acres of land, like Fee was like, no, nah, that whole mountain hit. That, yeah, that's all his. What? A mountain? No, nigga, you. That whole f mountain, all this shit right here is his. Yeah. And I what to do though. It's, this shit so. I had to call it, my mother. Like baby, we gotta move, baby. Fuck that shit. This shit barn. These twenty-four year old got mountains and shit. <laughs> Would you say it's what? It's boring. It's boring. So you get bored. A lot. A lot. Yeah. So you, so basically. Well, the bored, boredom is the life of original. <laughs> most rich motherfuckers is bored, cause they, everybody, cause most of the motherfuckers that was around you, they burnt you out. Because they went from being regular ass friends to now they liabilities. Now your regular homie, you might even can't have a talk with, because every time you talk to him, he giving you all these money. Yeah, man, I'm, oh yeah, I'm a couple months behind on my. But you can't dance, bro. We can't have a regular talk, man, without you giving me a sad story, man. Everybody come around, he got sad story, so you start got to eliminate. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, just even real. I don't know if you did it, but I eliminate a lot of. I'm about to say. I'm about to say. I cut a lot. Of stuff. Yeah, everybody can't go. You got three sad stories with me. Yeah, cause uh, my daughter. Yeah, her tuition. All right, there you go. Nigga. I got you. Yeah, cause I'm three months late. on damn. So when you got two months late on your rent, you didn't catch up for one of them months. Now you three months. Okay, there you go. Yeah, cause oh bitch, that's three that's three sad stories. Yeah, they get him out of here. You're done. I'm done with you. And how you feel how you feel about life today? How I feel about life today, just to be honest with you, bro. It's difficult. You know, I just lost my son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so yeah. you know, I appreciate that. I struggle every day. 
You know what I mean? My son was was a year older than you. You know what I'm saying? So I struggle every day. You know what? When I wake up, that's the first thing I think about. You know what I'm saying? So, but I also know that I gotta be strong for my family. What makes you happy? What make me happy is knowing the fact that out of the history of my motherfucking family life, I was the nigga that did it. I was the nigga that said, no, the next generation ain't going to be fucked up because I'm leaving something. Feel me? That's what make me happy at this age. You know what I mean? Other than that, man, you know, when you get to a certain age, it'd be about, it don't even be about you no more. You know what I mean? So it's what about you? You know, uh, the way I see life, I'm just happy to be here, you know? Growing up, I never thought I would make it that far. I don't even think I would be living. So to do all the time in the penitentiary, come home, you know, that was everything. And what makes me happy more than anything is to be able to provide for my family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially my brother that got killed. Rest in peace, Rest in peace, Steve. Cousin Steve. His kids. That's happiness, you know, to me. You know, like, I look at life like I work for them. You know, I do this for them. I do this for my grandma and my mama. So I'm like, that. that's, that's make me happy more than any of this other shit. The cars, the traveling, the jewelry, all that other shit, that don't mean that because that stuff come and go. But to be able to have them and to be able to be there for them, where I could have lost my life in the streets, but I made it, that's happiness to me. Getting up every day, uh, being able to open up a refrigerator and make me some food, like that's happiness to me, like the regular shit. Because, you know, when when, you, when success come and the money come, your bank account change, you you get the cards, you get the jewelry, you got all, the, all that shit. That's I think this cool. shit, I think money really do bring you like more problems. Yes. For real, for real. And I get a straight fuck with your mental. Mm hmm Because you got a lot of people around you playing mad games. Everything is like a game. Like yeah, you never know it's genuine. It's, 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 that's why when you when you do finally get you some money, when you got people around you that's genuine, man, you keep them off around you forever, man. Don't let no fallouts, don't let no dumb shit, don't let, never let none of that type of shit come between y'all because genuine a motherfucker that just like, no, I just want to see you win. That's it. With no, with no, all right, if we get money together, we get money together. But the bottom line is I just want to see you win first and foremost. You ain't going to find too many. You ain't going to find too many. But when you do, you keep them close, man. You know what I mean? Because... Because everybody is coming on an angle, man. Everybody, everybody coming on an angle. And the bottom line is this. Wallow did 20 years in jail, right? If he would have came home and was the stock boy at my fucking Target or Walmart, nobody would have gave a fuck. They wouldn't call him, wouldn't check on him, wouldn't none of that. His name would come up. Hey, what's up with Wallow? Oh, yeah, he been working at Walmart now for five years. I think he about to step up the manager. That... That's how that shit would go. Yeah, he done met him and he done met him a little girl, little girl. She, yeah, you know I mean, they got a little apartment together. They, yeah, they, yeah. That's how it would go. But you come home, you make something of yourself, and now motherfuckers who was on the streets out here their whole life while you was in jail from 17 years old to 37. Niggas is trying to put a finesse move down on you to, to get some money. You been out here your whole life. Be crazy, so it'd be a little wild, man. I always been on top. I always been on top of the money. I ain't, I ain't never let shit slide. Everything that ain't seem right, I always, you know, got on top of that shit. Got us be on top of that shit for sure, for sure. Real talk. And you can't be afraid to fire a motherfucker. Never. You can't be afraid to let a motherfucker go. Nope. Cause one thing about us, we are. Right, what? Oh, you did some dumb shit. Come on in here. <laughs> Yeah, we stopped that check from going to direct deposit. Yeah, go ahead and file for unemployment. You're done. Yeah. Do you do you think <laughs> do you think being on house arrest saved you? 
a lot from a lot of shit. Yeah. In what way? Highway, self destruction. It taught me how to like, you know, do a lot of shit on my own. Like recording shit. shit I could cook, I could clean out and but shit, I got a beautiful family. So I am thankful, but I ain't done too much shit really making me too not too much shit that make me happy. I don't really do too much. Yeah. You miss performing? At a time like this, yeah, I go. It's just, it's just, it's just as you go out and have some company. But other than that, I ain't moving if it ain't for no money. Oh, no, but you know, when I don't know how how it is now with the younger artists, but when we was growing up, man, it was the making the song process. It was the song is hot process. The song bubbling process, and then it was. I'm about to go rock this bitch process. Right. And that to me was always the greatest process. When you hit that stage and your fans, you feel what I'm saying? Feel your music and they love you for what you do. So for you not to be able to perform in three years and still relevant, I thought you would probably be, you know, miss the aspect of not performing. And you know, you already got the money. And my, I ain't even talking about the checks. I'm talking about just the the, the adrenaline rush of hitting that motherfucking stage. I, I feel like my fans deserve it. They, they deserve to see me perform. Yeah. Other than that, I, like, I'm cool with my four hours. But listen, man, you see what's going on. <clears throat> NBA, baby, is going down. Stream the album, buy the album, go get that. Go get it's it. It's out now. You already know. And it's just like that. Right.